So in this video, we're going to talk about patent claim, continuation of multivariable calculus. So we are going to try to explain it, tangent planes and tangent lines for you to understand that we have 1D and a 2D. So when we talk about the tangent line itself to a curve, it's a line that touches the curve at a point and that line is parallel to the curve at the same point. Similarly, the tangent plane, which is 2D, to a surface are uh, the planes that touches the surface and this touches the surface at some point and it's parallel to the surface at the same point. So for single variable calculus, in this case, we are dealing with multivariable calculus, but for you to have some insight of the single variable calculus, we establish that the equation of the tangent is given us y is equal to f of the function when you substitute in the point at y naught and the partial derivative of the function with respect to x then the change in x in this case change in x is what x minus x naught so the x naught and the y naught are the points given to you and then they will give you a function and you do that so this can be extended to deduce the formula for the tangent planes in which we are dealing with 2d the equation of the tangent plane to a surface is given by z is equal to the function of x and y at a point which is x naught y naught. Then let's do some substitution here. We establish that change in z is equal to the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. Then we will substitute in the point given to us times the change in what x which is x minus x naught plus the change in y multiplying the partial derivative of the function with respect to y substituting the x naught and the y naught in this case we know that from here we can know that the z naught is equal to the function is what the function given to you after you doing the substitution with x naught and y naught so then when you continue with that, at the end, you are going to get z minus the function because we established that z naught is the same as this. So we are trying to make this z the subject. So after making this z the subject, we are going to get this equation. So now this is the equation for the tangent planes. And I hope this equation looks familiar to you. It's the same as the local linear approximation from a previous video. So finding the equation of the tangent plane to z it's the same as using the local linear approximation formula yes so let's take one example for us to go by it so in this case you ask us to find the equation of the tangent plane to z and we now know that we established that the z is equal to this function uh, is equal to this formula right so let's take it so when they give you a question finding the equation of the tangent plane to z what you must know is that first you need to establish something here you must find, you must know your z naught and your y naught. You must know your x naught and the y naught. And also you must know the function given to you. So in this case, the function was given to us as that. So first we need to, from the formula, we need to first substitute the z, uh, x naught and the y naught into the function. So in this case, we have negative 1. We have negative 1. In three, so we substitute that to find um, our z naught, which is this. We establish that the z naught is the same as the function, uh, the function after you substituting in the point given to you. So after doing the z naught, we had the z naught to be zero. Then you are going to take this function, partially differentiated with respect to x. Then you substitute the value given to you. So let's go. When you partially differentiate with respect to x, with ln, when you you um, partially differentiate, you get 2, then divide by the function inside it. So we are going to get 2 over 2x plus y. That's what they had here. So this is it. Then you substitute the, um, the point inside. You're going to get the, uh, 2. The same thing applies to the um, partial derivative of the function with respect to y. That one you're going to get, when you partially differentiate this, you're going to get 1 over 2x plus y. Then you substitute in the, um, the point given to you, then you're going to get 1. Then in this case, you go back to the function or the, uh, go back to the equation of the z 
then you put the French um the what you had inside. So in this case, the Z0 is 0 plus when you did the partial derivative of the x, which is uh, partial derivative of the function with respect to x, and we substituting the Z, uh, x0 and the y0, we had to then times the change in x, in this case, x minus x0, but here we had it to be negative 1. We had it to be, um, where is it? Let me see something. x minus x naught. x naught here is negative 1, so it will be x plus 1, plus, we had that one to be 1, y minus 3. Then we do that. So, this is the equation of the tangent plane to z. Very simple as that. So, if you understand this, from your knowledge from local linear approximation, finding the equation of the tangent plane to z is the same as you using local linear approximation. So, in in some cases, they can ask you to um, it's the same as a local linear approximation. They can ask you to find the local linear approximation. It's the same thing here. They ask us to find the local that's a linear approximation to that. It's the same as you finding um, the equation of the tangent plane, right? And they are going to use the same this one. You will first they've given us a point. You're going to substitute the point into the function first to find z naught. After that, you are going to partially differentiate it with respect to x, partially differentiate it with respect to y. Then you put in the x naught and the y naught inside. Then you are going to multiply by each the change in x and change in y. In this case, we have this change in x to be x naught x naught, and we have the x naught to be negative four. So that will be x plus four, and um, where the y is y minus three. Then we that's all. Very simple as that, right? And, I think there's, there's nothing to do with it. If you understand the concept, you're good to go. So thank you very much for watching this video.